Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Two Three Four Essential. My name, despite the presidential ruling, still remains an military or AOT two. I am still a citizen of this country. Uh, the ruling has not what been country? able to, of Nigeria, unfortunately. Okay, great. The ruling has not been able to prove otherwise. So, yes, I am military here, right here, and my co-host is right here with me too. Hey guys, my name is Gucci the Eagle Stallion. How you doing? How's it yeah. hanging? yeah um, your favorite podcast is back um first time listener thank you guys for joining in you're welcome to the greatest podcast uh, on Saturday. yes um if you don't know what 234 is it's just that podcast that helps you break down the nigerian experience and helps you navigate life in nigeria as it is under Emperor Tinubu and his new shiny ministers that's what it is i mean we've been on this for a while anyway like we've been on We've been on the on two three four for a while. This is second president that two three four is seen. So yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so. And we hope to see more by the grace amen. of God. Amen, amen. So people that are meant to use eight eight years can just use four years. They can even use two and a half. Do you they understand? You can eight. still see. Yeah, hey, you can be going early. Say you want to retire early. We'll not. We'll you not understand? Fight. You can, you can say that now. because the poor are not breathing. Mm-hmm. That, ah, let me leave them. <laughs> let me not stress them. <laughs> Yeah, you know? the same. and it's getting to one point where you now say the safety word. Uh, we'll soon say you get what word. I mean. Where's the other twice? Bala blue, bala blue. That's the safety word. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't listened to the previous episode of 234 Essential, please go and listen. Gen Z, body or not, yeah, um, that is a conceptualized um episode that we give you guys, and we'll bring him um episodes like that where we don't really talk much about the training things but just more about big ideas and topics that affect everybody yeah like larger conversations so that we can yes. take like a deeper dive into it it's 100 yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. um if you want to send us fan mail you can send us fan mail at famila 234essential.com and follow us on every social media platform instagram x tiktok at 234 essential podcast yes 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 also subscribe to our newsletter for like early exclusives or any extra information about the podcast love it yes. uh, did you see our last day uh, this thing find me like now. um maybe you can find me the, the corner newsletter i saw it now you know nana, nana gave like, us <laughs> it is like designer you know even did the video reel really again for our last episode <laughs> shout out shout out to nana did they give he's already shaking now i swear fretting yeah he's anyway, fretting thank- Thank you guys for joining us. Um, where do we start from? You know, we've not we've not done this in one episode, and I've forgotten how to start this. Uh, it's okay. Start. See, freestyle. That's what two, three, four is about. We're about yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. This is real life. This is not a uh, what's in the de- channels it's, news. It's not. Fake. Do what you want. You understand? Yeah, it's not scripted. Unscripted. Yeah, oh, unscripted. <laughs> so like the name of, so like name of a mega church's uh, weekly program. See, see it's not like a. It's not yeah. like a, a mother's album. No, no, no. But I believe it's a church program. It's all scripted. No, it's not saying that Daddy Gio, you'd be the show for it. In the no, Daddy Gio, we don't retire now because uh, times eh? are hard. We can't pay. There's no eh? Nepa, we, we can't pay Nepa B. Yeah, eh? No, no talk that two times. They've don't do meter. that. So now virtual this thing they do now. They've increased Mita. But you're yeah, still Daddy Gio. Whether now virtual or being a reality, you now... Are you Daddy G or you're not Daddy G? Let me I'm, understand because I'm not, I'm, I don't like what I'm hearing. I'm, I'm Daddy G in absentia. <laughs> Love you, sir. That's okay. In the metaverse, in the metaverse. you are Daddy G. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, but, I beg because so we, you have it flowing. Yeah, we don't have a fa- we don't have far mail today because our night post misplaced our mails. So they're yeah. going to retrieve our mails. But keep writing. Next what episode, we'll, we'll read a bunch of it. What? What are the name of those birds that used to deliver messages back in Stocks. not crows now? Stocks. Stocks. Yeah. Yes, oh, they used yes, to deliver yes. babies as well. They used to give this, babies. This, you know that Ugochi and I were raised up as very middle class butty children. Do you get what I mean? Even now these trenches children wait there now, they don't understand the way they talk now. They I know they sensitive. also say that we're broke shaming I beg because this world now don't they sensitive I beg. It's, not, it's not broke shaming, <laughs> it was the era we are living in. We could 100%. at least the small entity where we they watch, the small this thing they watch, they use the ah, learning. Now they there's give no us wisdom. There are no cartoon for kids on terrestrial TV. NT will be showing you how to uh, plant cassava. Make cassava. I yeah, will be showing you. I yeah, will be showing PDP convention in Zamfara. Channels is always no, you... analysis, analysis, analysis. Arise is always attacking <laughs> the president. So what's in there for children to watch? 
Not you no, know, but really, yeah, had children of these days surviving. Ah, uh, they're watching uh, what's it called? Coco Melon. YouTube, sha. YouTube has yeah. really saved some parents. So yes, yeah, so, yeah, I won't mind. I see parents now. They just put YouTube in front of their children. And just please let me rest. I beg. But you know, like this thing we're talking about is a fundamental problem, sha. Uh, My um, dance. Yeah, oh um, my, you know it's in now. Because you no, are in paper like, chase. You are not paper chase now. Uh, so, let me, so I'm going to tell you something. Right? Let me give you one quick gist about something that a conversation I was having with somebody recently, right? Um, it Actually, a guy, right? A friend of mine, a guy. He, we're talking about um, like yeah. young people in society, so to speak. Let's all say Gen Zs, right? So he was telling me about how um, this his uncle's child is like really on a renegade era like yeah. he's just like acting out and doing like crazy stuff you know of course it's that's tantamount to what like young people do but like it's 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 a thing where they can't really say where he's learning it from because they don't even know the people he hangs around with and he said to me very honestly like the truth is that when we're chasing this paper we'll be forgetting that we still have a responsibility to the next generation to show them like yo of course, you can't tell them what to do, oh, yes, but it would be nice to make yes, them see that, you know, it's it's possible, it's doable, because nature and nature, right, it influences, it affects everybody. So the experiences, we forget that there are people that we sort of owe, like, we owe some level of obligation to, whether um they were it was asked of us or not like it's always yeah. it's always it always borders on the generation before to teach the one you know after it's just like what yeah. it is and i i completely agree with that i was just like yeah sometimes especially now as millennials and you know that time we're growing up and we'll be like ah this is my auntie and my this is my auntie or this is my uncle you no know, they show up for me yeah yeah, yeah. while well, slowly becoming those guys you know i saw i saw a video where one guy said he just promised his nephew um, PS5. Just the same way <laughs> uncle promised, his father promised something back in the day. I said, his oh, uncle promised him a bicycle. <laughs> the wickedness transferring. The way they suffer me, to go suffer them. Then they cross. See, but you know what they, you know, see, now that mentality, they make Africa make we no grow, sha. Yeah, we know. An eye for an eye. An eye for everybody don't blind now. Exactly. Apollo. Everybody don't get Apollo. We not face the front again, and why did they use us? They do Magu Magu. Air up and down the place, everywhere we go, there is always one mago. Mago, they want to play with us or the other god. I be as, 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 really as, as it should be, yeah. Eh. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, let's. Um, how was your week, Sha? Get into it. Yeah, how was um, week? Okay, my week was. <laughs> go soon say they're going to say which you don't come, but like, did you go to your special office this week. I just want to know, did you go to your special <laughs> office? I didn't. I didn't go okay. this week. Um, okay. So I had two meetings during the week that the timing of the meeting meant that I had to move around too much. So leave my house, go to the office, from the office, start going to another place, then from that place, go back to my house. Do you understand? And you know, say okay. as I did so now, I did really cut off budget. It's a budget yes. lifestyle. It's a budgeting thing. Uh, see, they cut. You have to be very critical about mm. your money, where it's going and how it's moving. You need to watch it. You understand? Yeah. So yeah, I had two meetings that were not going to they were not in alignment with um like my my movement. So I didn't um go to the office this week. And then I just had like a couple other things that have been on my mind that you know from family to personal life and all of that so i had to sort of take a step back and just feel all of it so i didn't do a lot of moving around this week um but yeah as i rightly said like i have had so much to deal with um understanding myself as well as the people around me and just like how those things how these two things influence my decision making process um i also met up with a lot of old friends this week um so maybe not let me not say met up but i spoke to a lot yeah. of like old time friends these are people like no no none of these people that i met this week were people that i met less than at least 10 years right mm. so 
old time friends, you know, and it's just amazing having conversations about growth and talking about who you used to be. Um, and maybe filling them in on the parts of your life that they missed out on and then talking about who you are right now. Like, and just sort of making a subtle comparison between those two eras, you know? Um, so it was, it was all shades of good. Um, I also got to understand this week that not doing anything is also part of the process. (laughs) Like kicking back, just chilling, like, Mm -hmm. Not when I say chill, I don't mean like oh, I don't see I, whatever makes you relax. So if you if you're in bed all through the day, that's what you can do that day. That's okay. It's also part of it. Like you don't always you're not clockwork. You don't always have to be up and about and trying to be. Sometimes you really just should be. You know, like just chill. It's part of it. Like rest. If you're going through something right now and it feels so chaotic and overwhelming, please take some time off. Chill. Um, nobody's going. No, like nobody's making it out of here alive. So understand that whatever it is you're bothering about right now is excuse all. Excuse with, me. Excuse me. Me rapture will take me. I don't know about you people. Rapture. Boy, will will take me. Like, boy, okay. When the rapture? Okay, you'll be assumed into heaven, body yes. and soul. Rapture the assumption. Know? This is what the Catholic Church talks about during the assumption of our Mother Mary on the 8th mm-hmm. of September. That was some days ago. And she? everybody just like, hey, what do you mean? What do you mean? It says, that, you know, Mary was assumed into heaven flesh. I'm like, no, she didn't. There was no, this one is not a soul movement, right? So she didn't, in essence, die. But like everybody, they fight us. But it's all good. And I, yeah, September is that month for me. It's my birth month. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah that is next week now. Yeah, next week, Monday. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which next week, Monday? Is it this Monday or the other no, Monday? The other Monday. Not this one we're entering. The other one. All right. Monday. Yeah, just someone, someone say public holiday day that day, shall go. Hey, hey, see, no play. Oh, now, truly, truly yeah. public holiday. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I've also, like, sort of been wrap, trying to wrap my head around what to do for my birthday, what is economically smart to do. I really want to do something. Um, I don't think that I want to do something that is going to have a fine, heavy financial burden, especially on me or anybody else who is coming to celebrate with me. Um, so I'm trying to think of like best ways to balance it out. Um, I think what's, what, what would be most important to me for this birthday is that people show up for me. Yeah. Um, I really just want to spend time with people. It's been an amazing year. It's been, it's had its own, but like, yeah, the past year has been a great year. Um, and I'm, ho- I'm hopeful for the coming year. It's sealed with promises. Um, and I really just want to see people. That's what it is for me. Um, so yeah, my week was filled with all of that. I'm grateful to God for everything that happened this week because it was really, it was such an insightful week. I can't even, I can't even lie. You know, I thank God for good health. I thank God for his grace more than anything. Yeah. But that's, that's what my week was about. How was yours? Are you? Uh, mine was, uh, usual. So it started like last week. Uh, okay, this is a longer recap because since we didn't do that one in the previous episode, exactly. Um, so yeah, I went out for an event. There's a mixer, a record label mm. came to Nigeria, fancy, fancy, Love something, it. something. Uh, met a lot of people in the music industry, you know, mm. spoke, networked, you know, did the whole yada 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 yada. Mm-hmm. On Sunday, I also met old friends that I've not met like in a few years. We went to Unilag Love together, it. sort of like a sports event or like a so you know how there's like viewing centers, right? Mm-hmm, but you know mm-hmm. that people of status and caliber, we don't go to viewing centers anymore. You have to go to like oh, lounge. Go. So a girl was having like a special event for a lounge, okay. in a lounge where we watch football. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. that's the day that my club decided to embarrass me. Hi, probably, three more, Abby. Yeah, I mean, that's the only scholar you would know. You would not um, know the scholar. What did I say now? You <laughs> can't pay. Why are you so touchy? <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, it was it was it was great meeting like two of my old guys. You know, we just spoke, you know, chili yada ya, went to work, did the normal work mm. thing. Um, work is boring, uh, unfortunately. But it puts uh, it puts bill, it puts food on the table at the end. And of it the pays day, the bills. And it pays the bills. What else Love did it. I do again this week? I can't remember. 
I can't remember. It's been such a long time. It's been a long yeah, week. Yeah. It's been a long week. Yeah. I also found out that I have a new place where I eat now. Okay. Have, have, you know the place already, self. But you know, I've got just I'm tired of. I'm tired of eating at the place. That's all I'm saying. I just, okay. I just found out, and I just say, okay, wow, this is a new spot. Yeah. So. Is he on the mainland? Before where go there again? Hey. No this. No this. I have been last to mark. Me last to mark. I know they do all those. Yari, yari, Will you yari. tell me the name of the place later? Is that place that we went to where the one that was very close to your house? Very close. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, me, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know, I know, I know. I prices and I was like, bro, what's the point at the end of the day? Yeah, it's more affordable. It's and they have more options, to be but, honest. Oh, they, I ate they the mark and options. cheese. I ate the mac and cheese. I was like, okay. And I ate the pasta. I was like, don't worry. Okay. You, have a lawyer. you people have a loyal customer right here. Love um, it. Yes. Yeah, so right. um, I made a decision this week that um, one decision, first of all, um, okay. is that I want to be going out more. So Love secondly, it. now, it's now looking for an accountability partner that will tell me, oh, where are you on Friday or Saturday? Just let me just get my ass out, you know. Just do I things. did for you now. Why are you not telling me? Obviously, it's you now. Where again? Where again? Okay, I go okay. Okay. Uh, so, well, yes. You know, see, I that will remind you. Conscientious effort to just go out and do things. And yeah, that's my yeah. week, basically. Nothing I want to ask there. you something based on KPI yeah. for this accountability, right? Yeah. My checking in on you, is it also... If I am I allowed to invite you to places as well? Oh yes, definitely, definitely. Okay, 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 definitely, okay, okay, definitely, okay, definitely. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um. Somebody saw the Adire trousers and said that we should. I dropped the. I dropped the tweet in your WhatsApp that we should drop mm-hmm. it as much basically. And I'm like, okay, no problem. We should just do it well. as much, and they're ready to buy. I was like, okay, no problem. Adire tribe, you hear this? If yes. you don't hear yes. it, I can't help you at this point. You get me. <laughs> You get me from yeah, and I also right. watched Top. I also watched Top Boy, the greatest TV series to come out from Britain. Oh my god! And this is the I end don't... of it. You know, it was a watershed moment for all of us. All the top boys yeah. in the house. In, a in fan, it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> fan, you know. It was my boyfriend, you know. So I yeah, it. that was my week in general. Shot a few TikTok videos. You know, the mm. TikTok account going slowly and surely. Um, the last Love one hit five thousand. Mm. Yeah, so we're moving. Uh, the ministry is you moving. don't be widespread, though. You, know, need to be, you don't need to release sex tape, boring sex tapes for us to make. God. <laughs> no shots. The video just dropped. That's why we're not. I send it to me too. Let me see. I want to you see sleep. what is boring. You, you sleep. You will sleep. Are you serious? You. This is like. You know if, the if, best... they, if, they, if, they, if they critique or they review sex tapes, this is going to be the worst, like zero over 10. Like, please do not waste data. It See, yeah, but, but real time, right? I mean, yeah. I'm laughing and shit because, like, bounce and because I've also seen like a video of the person involved saying, like, See, you won't shame me with sex. Like, oh, that's an old video. Just dug it up. That's an old video. Oh, okay. But, like, yeah. what, like, what, for what is worth, right? I think that it's a really shitty thing to do. Um, to anybody, whether you're male and you're doing it to oh, a you know female or you're. Yeah. There's a theory that uh, don't let me say this on the Porsche because it's not yet verified. But there's a theory that the video wasn't exactly leaked. If you understand what I'm trying to say. Ah, okay. Because when you watch the video, you are really on like, bro. Okay, come on now, haba, haba. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but people in possession of sex tapes, please do not release them. Thank you very much. That's a criminal offense. I don't know if it's a criminal like, offense in Lagos, Nigeria. I think it's in Lagos, but I don't know if it's in Nigeria though. So please. It should be. A, it should be a general law because, like, why oh. the actual so, fuck are you? They, if they you forget saying uh, Sergeant Okoro day on duty. You say you too, madam. Why? Why you the camera yourself when they do one? But like, so. See, this thing, you know, it's not white and black like that, right? I know imagine not white say, and black. imagine say you did relationship with person, can't they send the person your nudes? Yeah, the person because, go carry and come put on for yeah, social media. Which kind of life be that? We are reporting to haven't been trained to even understand what that is. So, oh it is what it is. Anyway, it's really um, wild, child, to be honest. Yeah, crazy shit. Let us, yeah, you know, get into our true. talking points. You know, first Love one. It. The, the television event that everybody watched from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. First of all, I hate the hours. 
<laughs> First of all, I hate the law. It is slow. <laughs> it is fucking boring. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I put that thing on. I rise on my YouTube. I listen to the first 30 minutes. I say, I can't do this. I'm sorry. Your Wait, were you, were you home or were you at work? I was, I was at work because we had to monitor it just for breaking news. You know. Okay. First of all, these liars were sleeping. That even showed you that they were fine. Like, <laughs> I'm going to talk with you on talk. Oh and the first thing is when they make the judgment, eh? You know, yeah. it's not like suits, like when they make the judgment in suits. Mm. Like it, or something, something. This one, they don't talk the judgment. You'll not be asking, wait, did they just make the judgment? It's just... Then, it, was, it just kept going. It was bland. <laughs> and I saw them 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 it. o'clock, 10 p.m. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. This is overdue. This is it's overdue. Given. Is given, but anyway, the <laughs> tribunal has finally come out, and every single thing that Obi and Atiku laid on um, President Tinubu was struck out. Not for not not for no um little or no evidence, you know, they poked holes mm-hmm. at some of their defenses. I listened to some. The funny thing is that if judges want to abuse you, they will abuse you, and there are some shots they were taking, man. I'm like, bro, mm-hmm. I learned fellows, please. He played the boss, uh, uh, hey, take a easy, please, oh please, 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 no. Set it for the boss, please, please. Take it easy. <laughs> Your Honor, take it easy. Don't mind them. You know. What's my name? There was one particular... They were, they were making a ruling. And they now said, yeah. did they expect the court to now go and gather evidence on the streets? I'm like, oh, hey, now wow. All right, so they were taking shots at social media, you know, mm. the obedience and everything. I was like, oh, my, these people are watching. You know. They know everything that's going out on the streets, so. mm. And, you know... Article came out that first of all, the vice president is wicked. The <laughs> vice president said that we are not going to retire Article to Dubai. He now mentioned one village in Article's area. Mm-hmm. Going mm-hmm. to retire in this like, we will now go. You will be wearing broilers and donkeys. I said, hey. I, I read that. Oh sure. I said no. This shit man. They don't give you chance. Oh, finally talk. Since we're twenty nine, you never get chance talk. So I still look more at this. You just a shoot. You go. You <laughs> You know, there's a video of um, our president and his people dancing, even though he's in India right now. Or was in India yeah. then. Um, yeah. Um, article the next morning came out to say, you know, justice was not served, that the respect of the women justice was not served, so they are going to appeal. Mm-hmm. Uh, Obi also mentioned the same They're going to the Supreme Court. Yeah, they're going to the Supreme Court to go and mm. appeal. I'm yeah. like, please, when you get to the Supreme Court, you people should just make it, do it as a tweet. <laughs> you too, no Please, I can't use four <laughs> hours to watching you guys again. I love it. But there's something I want to I want to highlight in one of the the court's rulings mm-hmm. where they where they're speaking about they're speaking about one of Peter Obi's um um, um petitions. Was, uh, petitions. Uh-huh. And I said that if you say that the 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 election was uh, was grossly uh how do I call it rigged, manipulated, the votes were manipulated, uh-huh. then it. It's not on you to prove that your own votes. You've not proven that your own votes were not manipulated. I know we're not manipulated as well. That's so serious. This is why I know like lawyer. You know, I know he's my lawyer. Because they go use they go use your word twist and you now you now sound like an idiot. Like and I thought about it for a second, is that yeah, if you said the election was a flood, eh? And people yeah. were manipulating votes, then you now have to prove how you got your own votes. And I'm that like, it was shit. not manipulated. Yeah. Well, let me before let me let me read out Obi's petition against Tinobo. Um, okay. I guess I neck anyway. Okay, you're on um, that plenty. Yeah, please, you're on that yeah. plenty. I beg. We want to do twelve hours pod. Yeah. No, um, I uh, promise I won't take your time. Like our judges no. that use twelve hours <laughs> to rule. Yes. Um, the first is that respondents contend that P- um, Obi's petition alleged widespread irregularities without specific. This is from Channels News, by the way. Oh, yes, yes. Um, alleged uh, widespread irregularities without specifying the affected polling units. Um, second petition is the petition claimed that false election results were submitted without specifying which polling units were impacted. Mm-hmm. The petition alleged overvoting and rigging, but did not specify the polling units. The petitioners only made generic accusations, allegations, um, the justices. Goes ahead to say the petitioners allege irregularities and will use widespread ins- inspection, inspection reports and forensic analysis as evidence in the trial. But... The documents that were promised um, by the petitioners were not attached to the petition and served Mm. on the respondents. 
Yeah. Uh, the justice also ruled that Obi and the Labour Party did not adequately detail their allegations of corruption, of corrupt practices, vote suppress, uh, voter suppression, fictitious results, and other irregularities in their pleadings. Yeah. This was what the court ruled. So now, Obi. this is where I want to highlight that... Uh, <laughs> so I tweeted something to that day that uh, it's not what you think is right or wrong. It's what you can prove yeah. in court. Of course. The court or the tribunal did this. Like Wiki said, Wiki is a funny man because he challenged the tribunal Wiki like two days after. He said, yeah. when Obi won his appeal as governor, they said the tribunal was not was not uh, corrupt then. But mm. because where is lost now, people are making his allegations. And I and I, I I say one thing: is what you brought to the tribunal that you will be judged on. Exactly. The case here, the guilty people here is Einek because Einek mm-hmm. did not release what Obi. An article, fuck, okay, fuck article. What yeah. Obi team, what legal team was asking <laughs> for, yeah, that is the issue here. And you know, if you come to the court without your evidence, you go explain, explain, explain. No evidence, no evidence. So, once again, we've it has, it has just shown Nigerians that the independent National Electoral Commission is not independent, and they're in cahoots, as they say, they're in cahoots mm-hmm. with the powers that be. So, yeah. See. It's so it was so sad for me. Um it, this was on the sixth Wednesday, right? Um I I wasn't really watching, let me be very yeah. honest. I was just following on like maybe WhatsApp updates, people yeah. are updating because me say that they say if I know when they feel fine, right? But I was just looking at it and I was like, see, now no no small if you if you don't know, if you don't know like how annoying law can be. Oh, maybe this was our best this you understand this is our best it's, chance at that okay, if anybody me and anybody get issue let's do out of court because i cannot sit down 12 hours to do listen you get to what me. i mean yeah. <laughs> and like it was just so it was so sad for me because um like after i heard the ruling from court and everything like when i saw it anyway it's not like i heard it it was just so sad for me to hear that for the first time in nigeria's history um, I think that somebody is trying to, actually at presidential level, somebody is trying to stand up to corruption because this is as clear as day, right? Wait, somebody trying to. So this is not tech, this is not the first time, you know. The our annoying former president tried it also, but it didn't work. So yeah. So when I when I mean like this is something that Nigerians as a collective are paying yeah, attention to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the problem yeah. the most so, viewed one. So maybe, maybe, I should, maybe I should have made that clear, right? This is something yeah. that as a collective, since the demo, since democratic government started in 99, like, like Nigerians are collectively paying attention to it just to understand like, okay, so what's really going on here? Yeah. And for us to just see the rule of law overshadow the like the uh, the obvious truth it's just like so what exactly stands in this country to be true do you get what i mean it was it was really sad anyway personally for me i mean i didn't have hope in it let me be very honest i didn't have my full hope in it because See, whoever is able to pay the INEC chairman to or to who is ever to in, able to influence them, not say pay because yeah, I don't influence. even know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so whoever is able to influence INEC so, to such a point that they are blatant in their in their decisions, that, that stubbornness. Do you understand what I mean? I mean, that person, whoever they are, or whoever those systems, organizations are, or persons is really evidently to go way beyond that you know yeah, and yeah. this just clearly shows us that it also for me was it was it was a thing where i um i first of all applaud i applaud peter obi um for his bravery more than anything because many times in this country i've seen people like back down when they like put their best foot forward they just like ah, i beg i beg i know one problem so they back down they back out of it but he saw he followed it through you know i don't know whether it is to prove a point i don't know if it's to but whatever it is like it gives hope you know more than anything and for me i just said to myself like whoever thought that this battle that we're fighting is going to just dissolve on that one strike like this mm-hmm. yeah the person had something else coming. I didn't expect that. This is a, this is a war of 60-something years. 
you know i like well okay maybe not 60 something years that's like our independence but like this is a war of from 1999 till now basically of nigerians demanding for their rights of course it's not going to be given to us on a platter of gold the rule of law is not just going to somehow change one day and say okay you know what you guys are so cute so i'm going to give you guys this you know i would say i mean it's difficult to to hear but like i'll say nigerians don't lose hearts um the same way the people who don't want the country to move forward are not losing hearts you shouldn't also lose hearts you need to keep demanding for your rights and that's the truth right come what may you know the physical is not what's is like we, you can't judge the you can't judge anything on what you see right now you only can only keep pushing of course what i'm saying right now is a heavy pill and a bitter one to swallow but like what other option do we have than to keep fighting do you get what yeah, I mean? yeah. or like to keep hope alive so yeah so, so there's some good news in the tribunal uh, on yeah. state level the one that concerns me is that uh, the wonderful and uh, beautiful Natasha Akoti Udogan um, was declared winner in the Kogi Sen- Central S- uh, Senatorial Election? That's my future. Finally. Uh, that's my future sugar <laughs> woman. Yes. You like light skinned women, apparently. I don't know what you're saying. I, I think, I think that is, is that I'm, I don't think that is. Excuse me. Equal opportunity <laughs> lover. I'm, I'm I love it. I, I love please. it. I'm a female ally here now. You I actually agree with you. Thank you very much. Honestly, so please, let, I agree. Let's support this man. Even if you're not from Koji State, let's support her. Please. Thank you very much. <laughs> it is a personal <laughs> endeavor that we all support her. From I agree with you. Yes. yes. I, so I support, is, like, what else? This is a woman whose future is bright. She's a bright woman. Fought. Yes. Foot and nail to to yes. hold, hold. Can be at home and say I'll just be a very fine woman in my house, in my husband's yeah. house. We we'll look at she's fighting for all you. Ah, ah, come on, let's let's do I better. Love let's it. Do better. I love Thank it. you very much. Woman power. Very much. Huh. Yeah, so yeah, I, I support the, it. We're waiting for the Supreme um, Court uh, Tribunal, whatever. And uh, my advice is that please, the justice, uh, your judge, may I, your honourable lordship, can I, must I, <laughs> may I. I? Please, this one cannot be 12 hours. Just send it as a text to everybody. Do <laughs> to MTN, Glow, Ether, everybody. Send it as text. That's and we are begging you. Yeah, so let's go back. Yeah, so shout out to the um, 12 parties involved. It was funny that all the three men were not, um, did not show up. You know, our president was presidenting in Italy and mm. in India. Article mm. God knows where he is. He's probably in Dubai. And Obi yeah. was obviously in a number of states, I believe. So, yeah, let's see how the, the power tussle goes, the Game of Thrones, the House of Cards. Mm. Mm. I don't believe that you know we'll have a change of president so, this way. It's going to be too drastic. Yeah. Uh, so it's like 2027, guys. Just do your best and leave the rest to God. Last, last. Well, everybody, uh, everybody go there, right? But I'll tell me, how did you feel? Like, what, what did this mean for you, especially as a media person who has sort of seen time and tide in terms of Nigerian politics here in Nigeria? And of course, the rule of law not being upheld, you know, as well. So, um, and of course, wait, uh, let, me, let, me, let me add this to, the, like, to this yeah. question. And as well, I make, you know, doing the whole thing before the election and promising that, this is the way they were going to deliver the results and didn't deliver it in that way and are now using the rule of law, you know, the flexibilities of the rule of law, well, the inconsistencies in the rule of law to their yeah. advantage in a sense. How did, it, how did it make you feel? So, um, for me, I didn't believe that there was going to be uh, that kind of um, ruling that we all expected. It would have been too drastic. Yeah. Yeah. What, the few things I learned, or well, the first one is that INEC still is a problem. Where we have institutions that are not independent, mm-hmm. that stand on their own, and yeah. answer to the common man, then there's going to be an issue. And if mm-hmm. you look at all the institutions in Nigeria, uh, whether it's the judiciary to a certain level, whether it's INEC, whether it's the police, mm-hmm. they are not independent. So they cannot yeah. fully, they cannot fully work um, mm-hmm. to the best of their abilities. Yeah. So yes, that was the first thing. Secondly, Peter Abis legal team has to really um, up their game. I don't think they came yeah. in so the way they should have come. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I think that maybe they are swayed by social media hype and hysteria. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think this one that I'm going into right now, they need to dot their eyes and cross their T's. Definitely. Yeah, because um, it's not it's not a playing game anymore. 
So if it means that they have to go and hold I neck by the neck, they have to go and do mm-hmm. that. And also, this is a lesson for obedience. Um, it is not by uh, tweeting. There are a lot of yeah. obedience proof of ignorance, and that's the annoying thing. Mm. You know, I heard that some people in some live spaces saying that this was even before. This was after the election. That, yeah. Uh, why can't they just bomb the bomb the the inauguration? I'm like, are you <laughs> God, please don't, don't make me laugh. What is wrong with you people? That's it. God, I beg. May they yes, never bomb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I beg, no, they no, I beg. So, a political education is necessary for Nigerians. Yeah. You can't move off ignorance because the people who you are playing against, they wrote, they wrote the laws. They know the way the mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They know mm-hmm. where the mm-hmm. loopholes are. Mm-hmm. And people are moving off emotion because even two days after, three days after, I've seen people on tweet on TikTok doing live spaces, crying about the whole thing. I say, "Tell me, my president." But I'm like, "Bros." This is not what you all this one you are doing now is saying uh, yeah it's just perform it's not you're not playing to the gallery you have to get your head, head down so mm-hmm. i think uh, political literacy is one they also have yeah. to know the fact that i neck is not independent and i don't think okay. there's going to be anybody in this country that's going to be independent mm-hmm. uh yeah because it is it, it, it when you say you, you now become independent that means that power now is no longer a guarantee for those who want power to be who are getting power so yeah yeah so that's it basically. I uh, that the tribunal no let me not say tribunal because that's a is it Pepsi? You know, like yeah. because Pepsi. I've been looking at it. It's Pepsi yeah. bar. It's Pepsi, yes. Uh-huh. Sponsored because, by Coca-Cola. Uh-huh. Because it's P E P C. If I don't want to say P E P C, maybe I'll say Pepsi. Because mm. that's what but I kept I'm, calling it like throughout the week. I'm, it's called Pepsi. <laughs> Presidential election petition petition tribunal. That's what it's so called. is it interchangeably used because some places some some media houses called it presidential election uh, petitions court. So yeah, they wrote I think, Pepsi. Yeah, I think you can you can use that in, in, you know uh, interchangeably. Yes. Interchangeably. Okay. Okay. Great. I believe so. so. Yes. Anyone that works. Anyway, my final question to you, based on media stuff. So. Um, you know, I told you I was watching from social media, and so on yeah. socials they were saying so. Um, some um blogs had it that um cameras were not allowed to um show the faces of the judges, and so because of that they had like um cartoon representations. Is this true? Okay, yeah. In in terms of that, I noticed I didn't see the face of the judges, but I don't know whether that, whether that's your reason. I'm not mm-hmm. sure if the faces were bad. Maybe the ones that didn't get accreditation on time. But the faces yeah. of the judges were not shown. But a day before, yeah. like two days before, there was a yeah. list that came out showing all the five judges the that judges. were involved. Yeah, yes. so it's not yes. that hiding. not that hiding behind masks and say, we don't agree, we don't agree. They can't, yeah, yeah. What but, was the rationale behind that? Of what? Like, why would the faces of the judges not be shown, but, like, they will show the faces of the courts and... Maybe, uh, I don't know. We we'll have to ask uh, one of our emeritus lawyer, Esquire, that is not charging. Okay. we we'll probably have to ask I them why it. they do that. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I, probably I, definitely I felt pity for those guys because they are sitting down wearing that gown and that bloody wig for 12 hours. So ugly. That wig they go to smell. Hey. That wig will be... Will Hot. Be, will be... Will you be, understand. You know, what they call it, to be pungent. To be oozing, <laughs> to be oozing. Listen, It'd be terrible. One of the artifacts, why is that you... the artifacts of colonialism that we are still holding on to. But when I watch, when I watch, when I watch suits, uh, do they you, dress you know, up like Excuse this? me, sister. America rebelled away from England. In England, they still wear it. Too. Uh, true. In England, they still wear this thing. No? True. Mm. True. Yeah, true. But that we get. That we is Brazilian wig. You can see it's fine. It's the Brazilian wig of legal judge of law. The ones with that, I love it. I want is the five K. Uh, is human donor? Or is human donor hair? Or morgetto? I just want morgetto hair. It's not synthetic. It's not thin. I want is dali yaki. Oh, whatever. It's Afro koli, Afro ying yangi, or whatever. Afro kinky. Hey, Afro giving. kinky. That's what I like to say. Afro kinky. Oh God, I was doing it one time, one year. I love it. I was doing it like you know when Afro kinky. I said, what the fuck is this? That was the rainy hair then, or now for you, see? Yeah, not true, sure. Not true, not true. Now, before this Brazilian hair, they come outside, that time, 
si darling yaki they make money for our hands they, they, i'm sure darling yaki, now, I'm sure darling yaki is not selling human hair too so what's the point well they might not be selling like raw human hair of course synthesized ones yeah, yeah. maybe or or softer texture you know stuff like that because the market is I'm, highly competitive right now yes please. how much is the average wig like all those um what they call them boneless I mean, what they call them? What's the straight hair Bone straight hair what's the average hmm, like? that's a good question so it depends on the vendor so it depends on the vendor it depends on the country was brought from imported from it depends on the exchange rates um so quality of the hair where it was gotten from and exchange rate so th- like those things vary from vendor to vendor but of course. um and also yeah and well it, i mean i think it's relative but like a good bone straight hair will start from like a good one no? will start from like 300k right now in the okay. nigerian society pardon me because um, the next question i want to ask yes please see. Is that people that rob people in traffic when you rob their phone? <laughs> does it has it never occurred to them they should be robbing like boneless wig too? Like, because that's, <laughs> that's like 350k straight in your hand. So, you know. so, truth is, because there are so many variations of human hair, so even now there's Vietnam, there's there's donor hair, there's different things. First of all, I don't. I don't think there are many people wearing 300k hair and sitting down in the bus. No, so, but you're in traffic lights now, like, like, oh, you're hanging out to some, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, your Mercedes. Oh, you're yeah, in your car. Yeah. I thought it just breaks your window. Bam! So, madam, give me your hair now. <laughs> your, hair, your life. I feel that Nigerian robbers or thieves in general are like are more likely to use or people who steal in in nigeria in general are more likely to steal what they are aware of so they know that your phone naturally will cost more money so they'll steal your phone they'll steal your laptop but like for things that see now see thing they ask me now now do you understand so there are a lot of men who don't even know how much these things cost do yeah, you get what i mean i was wondering yeah uh, so yeah, there so there's that. Also, there are some really good quality hair that are not like that bone straight level, you know, but like they could be like hundred K, um, one fifty, eighty K, ninety K, you know, stuff like that. You know, oh, and it also depends on the length of the hair. Sorry, I forgot to add that. Okay. The length of the hair also plays a part in the price of the hair and also okay. the weight of the hair. So mm. length, weight, country, quality, and exchange rates all sort of add up. Also, if the hair is colored, if it's mm. black, mm. Oh, if it's colored hair, it also gets in your own price. Do you understand? So like, it, there are a myriad of factors okay. that sort of have influenced that. Oh, but yeah, so shout out to all, Nigerian hair vendors. So all you men that are always pulling women's hair, please, no, they pull anyhow. Now, pursuing, now pursuing five more salary with that. No, they pull salary. Salary. <laughs> I am based off of all with what you mentioned earlier about um, America pulling out of British pa 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 pa. Yeah. So today, I was I was um, singing Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony stuck a feather in his hat and called him macaroni. You know, mm. this is once again. I was saying to myself, this is you know that uh, we go to the very 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 you know uh, privilege of. <laughs> So moving on. Please don't kill me. <laughs> but like then everybody sort of knew that that nursery <laughs> right now. Excuse me, if you went to Emela, Nursery and Prime School, you didn't know that nursery. <laughs> Please right don't kill me. You Fair know. point. I, I, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. You know, so I was thinking about Yankee Doodle and I was just like, hmm, let me go and even Google the lyrics. Me, it was that the only stanza of Yankee Doodle, and then I oh, got no. into a rabbit hole. Now the first stands out, please so don't Do tell me the stands out. I beg in the name of God. So like away that. from the fact that I didn't even eventually find out if there was uh, there were other stanzas, I found out that the song Yankee Doodle was actually a song sung by the British to the Americans to tell them that they were classless people. Wow. It was a revolutionary song for well, well, it was an attack to the to the Americans by the British to make them to so back in the time, according to um the article I read, um I'll share the link so that maybe Nana can put it on this thing anyway, if at all if it's important. 
um they were back in the day the elite well-dressed um europeans who had traveled through europe well british who had traveled through europe were called macaronis right they were called mm. macaroni they were not they were not um they were not they, that was the name they went by right and the macaronis used to come out dressed as you know with flap in, in a lot of flamboyance you know king louis the 14th also he was a very flamboyant king you know yeah. he made his hair he wore heels stuff like that but like for the british when they had traveled europe and also like seen you know what was obtaining in other places they would come back and they had called themselves macaroni so um they were they, they were they were they were they, they spotted like big hair symbol wigs tight fitting clothes that clenched at their ankles everything i always tell people who especially um, people who want to talk about fashion when they say men are not fashionable the truth is that by history men used to be more fashionable than women women were more or less neg neg neglected when it comes to fashion right king louis wore makeup he made his hair all of that that was his jazz right but over time of course with the advent of fashion and you know women just really standing up for their own thing of course they now look like a woman's you know, woman's thing but even in nature the most flamboyant animals are male you know yeah anyway so the macaronis used to dress a certain way and they were known as elite upscale people and so because americans are not naturally fashionable have never been they used to call them yankee doodles mm -hmm. so when they said yankee doodle went into town riding on a pony he stuck a feather in his hat to look like a macaroni but like Ooh. what's that that's it a the, fucking feather it was the okrika, okrika version. it was the wannabe yeah, literally okay. You know, so America, they, they made it like they were just, they used to make just, just of Americans to call them Yankee Doodles. So my mom was just like, hmm, imagine that. But we, we they sing and for school that time. Really, if you say Yankee Doodle enter town with one kid, the girls with the featherweight trick for hats, you know, but like, yeah, it was all of that. Um, What's I was again? just like, wow, random fact. Thank you for showing us that, you know, you are, you had a rich, <laughs> um, rich kid. Level. Please don't kill me. Yeah. Um, well, last that's, I still don't enter streets. That's, yeah. so, that's when some children are singing a pumoto. Uh, 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 ah, I sang uh, it so. What do you, uh, uh, I, I, I had know. a balance, please, a healthy singing, balance. You're singing, you singing Yankee Doodle, please. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> a for Apple. Okay. That one, that one was when I bust my head down. Speaking of Yankee, um, if you watch Yankee movies, you notice that uh, when people want to travel or move or people want to just go to mm -hmm. work, they enter yeah. one they enter one metallic snake like this, which they call subway, you know, and mm. that's how they move. Now, lo and behold, 40 years after it was conceived, the first metro line was conceived by the first civilian governor of Lagos State, the late Alaji Latin mm -hmm. on the Lagos yeah. and Scanner breathe a sigh of relief that we now have a metro <sighs> line in the biggest black city in Africa. Can we all clap for ourselves, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, Slowly but surely, we got to the finish line. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> on Monday, when you're listening to this, like previous Monday, um, yeah. Babaji De Son Olu uh, um, of, uh, officially launched the Blue Metro line in Lagos. Um, I just want to talk about the price and where it, where it passes right now. So It's routes. The Lagos Blue Rail is to cost 750 naira per trip, according to Lamata. It has been subsidized by the government, by the Lagos yeah. State government. Um, it was commissioned by one president that uh, we don't want to say his name anymore. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for, the, for where it's going to be taken now, blah, blah, blah. Um, so the Blue Line Project Blue Line project is a 27-kilometer railroad designed from to run from Okokomaiko eastwards to Mile 2 and then proceed to Minor, Minor via Jora. Uh, mm -hmm. However, only the phase one covering 13 kilometer mile now to mile two is ready with five stations. So that means it's not still ready. There's still more 14. That's still 14 kilometers ready. Uh, 14 kilometers yeah. more. Where this is Nigeria, yeah. we understand. When government do half, they will first drink water <laughs> first. Then the next 40 years, they'll do the next one. We thank all those involved. I've seen videos of it. I saw the video of um, Sonolo entering the first day. You know, the funny thing is that I've seen the video of Nigeria's entry. And trust me, Nigerians, we like we like good life. 
I'm a good you. scene. I love it. Have you seen that video of people watching it to enter inside? Yes, I oh, saw it. Lord. I'm like, ah, we've suffered in this country. Ah, my word. We've, been people rest. we've been through a lot. Just allow them, See. please. I, I understand the feeling, my guy. I understand the feeling. See. The way they, as the door open, like the way they take Russian. You know, the you know they say, people are entering and they're like, eh, is this Lagos? Hey, do you understand? It's like we're flying in the sky. I said, hey, <laughs> they're doing the people metro line now. They know what, see, if they call the lecture I tomorrow, love it. if they call the lecture tomorrow, this metro line, it will shock you. <laughs> so, I <laughs> swear. Well, I it's actually good to see. From what I saw, um, yeah. like in the carriage, it's actually nice. It's lovely. Um, yeah. Let's clap for bad people when they do good things too. So we'll try and clap for mm. them too. They'll be like, see. Yeah. And the truth is that if this line, if this metro line and uh, uh, this thing pass through my area, I'm more, mm. no more from you. I'm gone. No more waiting. No more. I'm disappeared. Bye bye. Okay, okay. I've disappeared. <laughs> but the, I know the I red, the red, the red metro line, which is supposed to come up later this year, will pass mm-hmm. like I get gay keja. So I'm like, fine, I'm ready. Lord, I am ready. I'm done with Uber, it drive everything. Please, I'm begging I'm you. So, I'm so grateful for it because, it's like, first of all, we are really in dire need of alternative means of transportation in this country. Yeah. Like, road yeah. transportation is just a huge stress. You've killed the road. Right You've now. killed the roads. How many roads do I want to do? Just do railways. Do you understand? Like, open the waterways to make, instead of using banana boats, can we have, like, proper boats, like, sh- taking people from oh, Ikorodu or... Went, the first time I went to Beach Resort, or oh, more. They said, okay, yeah. so, we might, so people that stay behind will be using banana boats. I mean, I didn't know what banana boats was. I just asked my guy, what banana boats? They said, yeah. that wooden one that doesn't have engine. I said, no, 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 no. You cannot use it. Can you oh the God. one that has my engine? I will wear the... I, I, will, wear, I will wear the vest, please. Even if, even I entered, you, you are seeing me. Oh my lord! What happened, bro? I was frozen to a spot. I said, Jesus Christ! So if Make you not be saying that because uh, I work hard, it thing can break. Uh-huh. Come capsize. Oh, well, that was even better. When we are now finished the party, around yeah. ten, they now say there are not enough boats to go back. I said, No, it is I impossible. I am going to touch. So some people will sleep there. They found a way. So a lot of people now started entering okay. a lot of boats. So the artists okay. like from South Africa, right? They get them the best boats. Mm. As you see, they're like, mm. they now say we should have tower boats. That boat now, oh. there are already people sitting down. So me and one guy now sat in the front. In the front mm-hmm. of the boat, though, not as if the front chair. There's a small mm-hmm. in the front of the boat where people can sit one car. Yes, yes. But me and this guy, we felt every bump, every everything. Of the water. <laughs> from that place, oh, gallops. from that place to that, uh, the, the docking yard. Oh, yeah, I just did pray. I said, God, what, what beach did you guys go to? Takwa Bay, Ilashe, it's Pravida. Is that one that uh, we sent you? Oh, yeah, Ilashe. Okay, I don't remind you of that one. That's why I didn't want to say that. Yes, uh, <laughs> who got you don't worry. Who got I, you? I forgive. <laughs> that is the truth. For I'm me. a forgiving person. Yeah. I forgive. You me, you're supposed to be beefy. <laughs> you, who am I supposed to be beefing? You should be beefing because they, they she showed. Who? Uh, uh, this is not there now. Why should I be beefy now? Because she came now. Eh, but you two, too, you went to now. We got you. Just leave all this. So it is the past 2021. Wow. Exactly. Do you get what I mean? Like, I for, that's what I'm like. I forgive. Oh. Okay. You know me say I, for, I you, know forget, forget, but I forgive. No, 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 I owe you one. I owe you one. Eh, you thank one. you so much. I like that. That's what I want to hear. So Thanks. I went of the, the boat. Eh? And I could see here. Mm. I could see here. I'm a piano in my ear. I said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a part of what I don't know. Okay. I love it. <laughs> okay. It they move. See, when I saw oh my word. When I saw that big Orlando building, or yeah, that, uh, that yacht, that uh, our uh, what the last yacht, I said finally. Yes. Thank we don't need me. I'm more asking the place. I just I said no. I know they do it again. Me and beach resorts. No, no. If I don't see any big one to enter. I know they enter banana boat for what? Some people enter banana boat at that time. Yeah, like me that. I've entered. Shall let me know like. No, I've entered before. I've entered a couple. That was when I was Unilag. I entered the banana yeah. boat. Not a banana okay. boat, but it was a wooden one. And when we mm. came back, we were trying to play smart with the with the guy who was, you know, driving the boat. We yeah. Said, but we know they pay until we reach land. The guy said, hey, he just switched off the engine. You're going to live for dinner. <laughs> my life. I could see my It flashed everywhere. before your eye. <laughs> I saw my mates winking at me that, don't worry. I said, no, no, no. 
I'll write the conductor. Please, please, please. Who has changed? Who has changed? Please <laughs> <laughs> continue. It. Oh, well, it's not good. I love it. But Lagos actually I... needs... I know Lagos has, like, a waterway system, but it should be bigger and more efficient. Yeah. Listen, it could be, be way better. And, like, we need light on the water as well. There's no light on yeah, it. Um, we'll it's so day. dark. I don't know how that man need the road. He was Do you understand? Going. I was like, where is this place now? And also, See. please, when you enter boats, ladies and gentlemen, it is not Shakara. Wear your vest, <laughs> please. We are begging you. Wear I love your vest. It. <laughs> They don't need to be doing Shakara. Say no, and I decide. I decide. Looking cool. Do you understand? I'm with my guy. Wear your vest, please. But yeah, we're uh, swimming, swimming yeah, in the pool and swimming in water different. body are two different things. Are two different things. It's like even swimming in a pool and swimming in an Olympic sized pool are two different ah, things, my guy. Of course, you of can course. Swim an of Olympic course. Olympic sized pool, my guy. So take it. Easy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I know why you're coming. I call the enter body. So yeah, yeah, I'm a piano. Yeah, yeah, do 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 do. No, don't don't try that. Don't try that, my guy. But um, oh, I word. would love to enter this blue wave. Maybe we'll go to China. We'll do it. Same here. Uh, when we should. One, when the red one comes to our area, we'll do one. Uh -huh. But look like Yankee. Ah uh, no. Let's enter the blue one first. Maybe we we'll go my two. Uh, okay, now we'll just plan a day. We'll go to my two. Carry tripod. Okay. Go. Not the shoes Love like it. Them. Ah, they go. May they not rob us for the did they thief for that like we have, we have, This is New York. We are live in New York. <laughs> but they are not know we are in Lagos. We are in Lagos. Do you understand? The video, the video will cut when they take the phone. <laughs> one, more, one time, one time. But yeah, Shana, it took forty years. We hope the next one doesn't take yeah. another forty years or better. Better projects doesn't doesn't take forty years. You know, our love for Nigeria. Hopefully. Every Nigerian state should be connected via rail. Like this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so it's mm -hmm. not for people it's to doable. move and do things. It's doable. Problem is yeah. that our position is that, but you know, they stay one place. Exactly. They are, they are like what um, what the Charlie Poppy said. Mm -hmm. they, they, they are most boys. Para did their body. Listen <laughs> too much. They know they stay one place. They grab right too much. They are even they mean that they jump. There's too much in here. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, Big Brother Ninja. I you wanted. Know? I wanted to ask you something before we jump into Big Brother Ninja. Okay, yeah, Real yeah. like quick segue. I said that actually. Shout out to my friend Daddy. He said that I should watch a uh, what's it called the Headies. Oh, oh and so, eh? I said yeah. Yeah, I can understand what you're saying. Keep moving, please. Yeah, like because I mean I watched it. I didn't start from the beginning, but like watched I watched it, it very. Shout out to yeah, you. Yeah, I, I watched. Oh yeah! Oh, I watched it till the end. My job was. Done. I mean, so like, I, so in case anybody doesn't know, full disclosure yeah. before we talk about this, like I said on um, mm. loose talk, I am part of like yeah. the 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 jury of the headies. In case you guys don't know, so yeah. my POV will be Shout biased. Well, I will try to be objective as plain. And when I say I'm jury, I have no hand in the production of what you guys watch. It's basically yeah. who the winners and the nominees are. Thank you. Okay. So I'm not even going to I'm not even going to attack the full production. Um yeah, yeah. because I of course it had glitches and all of that. We saw some things that no, I was not understanding. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like there were some delays, unnecessary delays, but like I was happy for a couple of things. I was happy I saw LD. LD I was happy Terrence, yeah, he's, Terrence he's in Atlanta. Yeah. Exactly, you know, I was happy Terrence was there, who was the who was the host of the event. I love all of that. So, like, I'm not mad at anything, right? Because also, necessarily, I didn't have like any expectations, and I didn't really, I'm, I wasn't following the build up as much as you were involved in it. You know, mm -hmm. like something. I mean, I met you and a couple people in different places where you guys were talking about, you know, what's going on and stuff. But like, I never paid attention because not my circus, not my monkey at that point, you know. Mm -hmm. But like. I sort of, I really appreciate what Rema said at the Hedis. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I know that you also have like a video on TikTok talking about it. Yeah, I can't speak. Um, exactly. Um, his speech was spot on, came at the right time. Yeah. Um, it was loud and clear. There were no, he didn't mind words. He said it as a real, like, like a real superstar that he is, like a real fig, like public fig, like, Whatever it is, he's a whatever authority in his sector, whatever it is, right? Yeah, yeah. But I just wanted I just wanted you to talk about it for a bit, maybe for the sake of those who like don't list, yeah, like who don't who are not on TikTok or who 
um probably are like wondering oh what was um what was was it train shades or what was he talking about okay, 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 do you want yeah, to like so, give you a breakdown yeah so two things right rema is smart and uh, rema is gunning for to become the top dog in Afrobeat, like the number one undisputed and yeah because he's smart and uh, you know maybe has given these guys media training and everything uh-huh. the recent recent uh comments by Bonaboy concerning Afrobeats and how he's not Afrobeats. Yeah. Afrobeats doesn't have substance and he does Afrofusion. Yeah. He saw yeah. a lane for there for him to make a speech and win the hearts of Nigerians, which is what mm-hmm. he did. But secondly, mm-hmm. he actually said what is um, on the mind of a lot of Nigerians and yeah. basically if not what the speech was, he just said was respect our institutions. And the institution I was talking about... Was, was he speaking facts though? He was speaking facts, that's what I'm saying. Okay, um, okay, we start okay. to Nigerian institutions now. Ever since this Afrobeat to the world thing has happened, we are beginning to see less and less of our superstars in Nigeria. You know, mm-hmm. there was a show that was meant to happen in America last year, on October first. It was meant to, you know, all our biggest stars would have been there, and there would have been no single Nigerian artist in Nigeria that of relevance mm-hmm. would have been there. But it just postponed the last mm-hmm. minute. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to do that one for this year. Yeah. And now we hardly see stars staying in Nigeria anymore. Eight months, nine months, they're abroad. They are doing their thing. They don't even do press in Nigeria anymore. It's hard to get a Nigerian artist to even do local media press and everything. Mm-hmm. And with the headies, before the headies moved to America, there was, a, there was a thing of, oh, and the winner is the artist is not around. And the yeah. winner is, and the artist is not around. You know, that's two folds. One, Nigerian artists are very, very bad, badly behaved people. Yeah. But they will book rooms for artists for the headies. And when it's time for the head is they won't come down. They'll tell you that, mm. that people are not yet around, but they've already started the, they've already started the show. For people yeah. who are so that's one bad behavior. Two, some people just don't give a fuck. Right? Yeah. And three, Afro movies has grown bigger than so let's say now like you're yeah, like an Ira star, right? Yeah. One week in this particular week. What right, in this particular in this particular week, right? You yeah. go on top for like four dates. That's maybe you making like hundred thousand years dollars or eighty thousand years dollars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make economic sense for you to leave that week, come to Nigeria, come to Lagos for an award you might not win, right? That doesn't affect your audience, your audience in America. Come to mm-hmm. Lagos, come for an award you might not win, and go back and fly again. You've lost money in that mm. process. It doesn't yeah. make sense. So this is the reason why. Hedis was taken to America. That okay, since you guys are now mostly in America, yeah, and it's the fact we just produce the talent, but the, mm-hmm. the commercialization, the selling of it is actually abroad right now, you know. And I'll get there. There's a there's okay. a there's a very important uh, you know evidence I want to bring out here. So this was going to be the second question yeah. I was going to ask you. So I'm happy you're talking so, about it already. So Hedis now to come like okay, this is your playing ground now. You guys are in America, you're on tour. Come, yeah. even though we still saw some people. Some people will not see show first because they feel they are bigger than the mm-hmm. Hedis, which one day everybody will still come back home. Which is yeah. what which is what Rema tried to see. And our institutions exactly. are failing. And it's true. He may say something yeah. very salient, and I saw that last year. Nigerians are not buying tickets to, to watch Nigerian artists anymore because they've yes. lost the trust factor. You guys don't yes. you guys don't care about you don't you people come back come out late, you mind mm-hmm. your songs. Yeah. Right, you give shorty performances, and one mm-hmm. is very hard to find right now, even in December. So I'd rather exactly. take a 15k or 20k, contribute it to my street carnival. Where mm-hmm. I know it, uh, the DJ will play all the songs my request for and we'll party tonight, exactly like it's 1999. That means stand yeah. in the cold 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and the artist is not here around. The artist comes, does like five tracks, and disappears. You know, yeah. I'm tired of DJ track on. People don't believe the artist anymore, and that's what Rema is trying to see. You know, yeah, it's good that Rema is performing everywhere. We are seeing it now, but Rema has not had the moment yeah. like that in Nigeria yet. December yes. will come, we hope that people will actually want to buy tickets to watch a Rema. Now, this is second mm-hmm. part. This ticket issue is another issue. Um, Afrobeat artists are now charging local promoters the same amount mm-hmm. they're charging international promoters. I know mm-hmm. an artist, right? That's mm-hmm. 300k plus private jets that will take him to Nigeria and take him out of Nigeria. 300k mm. plus private jet. Oh. He turned it down. Is this uh, USD? Yeah, no. Oh, so in the music industry now, nobody calls Naira. It's US, USD is the official currency of the Nigerian music okay. industry. If a producer, okay. if a producer and say, but how much do they charge me for beats? 2.5. That 2.5 is not 2,005 Naira dollars. Take yeah. your will tell you 60k dollars straight up. Nobody deals yeah. with that anymore. 
you yeah. know, that has lost value in the Nigerian music industry. So we've, we've, we've seen this, this kind of situations where they charge the local promoters. And how does a local promoter want to get you, get 300k, unless government is involved? Yeah. Government show how many businesses, you know, with 300k, we will we, we'll cough out 300k for you. The days that mm-hmm. were, were dropping that kind of money have gone since they had that issue with the Nigerian government with tax and everything. You know, they yeah. don't sponsor entertainment anymore like they used to. They cut down yeah. the large budget. And not many companies right now in this economical situation we're in in this country. We won't drop mm. 100k for you, my nigga. That's too much. Then an artist, a headlining artist is doing 300k. He will do accommodation for him and his band. Mm. And his technical writer, the technical writer is, oh, the kind of microphone he wants to use, the mixer he will use, what's the DJ? Yeah. It's another long thing again. The <laughs> big one, only artist on debut. The other ones will be charging you dollars too. So imagine a Bonner yeah. boy on the same bill. It can't yeah. happen in 2023 unless Tinubu says, you know what, well, fuck it, whatever the price is. To have an Asheke on Bonner and Bonner boy in the same concert in Nigeria is unbelievably, it will be unbelievably expensive. That's yeah. the fact. Now, there's something called Afro Nation. Afro Nation has been going for You know, this was the next thing I was going to be ask it's you. Why in sync? Why in sync? I'm honestly, I love it. Yeah, fire Foundation down. has helped to help, you know, evangelize Afrobeats to other parts of the world, you know, everywhere, mm-hmm. Portugal. They've done many mm-hmm. concerts. And people always ask, they mm-hmm. came to Ghana in 2020 or 2021. Yeah. And people always ask that, yeah, so Beats, Ghana has a piece on Afrobeats, but when you talk about Afrobeats, no, we don't lie now. Now, they get this thing now. Mm-hmm, How mm-hmm, can you mm-hmm. say that there hasn't been any Afrobeats in Nigeria? Afro Afro Nation. Afro Nation in Nigeria. So, yeah. shout out to Obiasika and Smid. Not the Obiasika, mm. you know. There's another Obiasika. Um, yeah, I know that one. Yeah, so they decided to the come. Music one, have you? No, not the music one. There's another Obiasika that oh. many people don't know. He's in charge of like Afro oh, Nation okay. with Smid. Oh, said, Let's bring Afro Nation to Nigeria now. You know? mm. And from December 19 to 20, uh, you know, Afro Nation will be live in Lagos. TBS. Mm-hmm. Tafa Balewa Square. Yeah. Yeah. Now, they recently released the tickets. VIP weekend mm-hmm. ticket is going for 228k per person. Second release mm-hmm. will cost 266, 350k per person. Mm. Um, the soon there are another level of um ticket because not the same pricing. It's 300, yeah. 300 above three. 300,000, 303. Yeah, 303k. Yeah. My guy, you know how they be. Even if they pay you 30 more salary, to go and drop 300k. To watch Bonner Boy, Brema, David Whiskey. It's hard. You're not going to see. TBS can take 40,000 people. We've seen it with um, the experience. 40,000, 50,000. Mm-hmm. Easy. Mm-hmm. My guy with this ticket, if you get 1K, 2K, it's not going to work. Now, the danger yeah. in this is that, and I kept saying this a long time ago. I remember I wrote an article on the Niger Way. Afro Beats has yeah. left Nigeria. Afro Beats has left mm-hmm, Nigeria. Mm-hmm. We do, it's now yeah. all of us are realizing that now. This yeah. event will be filled with IJGBs and people who are, who are just Afrobeat tourists. They're just curious. Let's just soak up the, you know, the environment. Let's see. Okay, this mm-hmm, is Lagos we'll be talking mm-hmm. about. Let's see where it's really for. Yeah. Um, like us, I'm not going to go and pay 20. 50k was hard last year. And yeah. it's for my nigga. My nigga. <laughs> not possible. And I've said, and this is what we've seen across the gates. Nigeria has produced yeah. wonderful footballers. How many of these footballers have we seen Playing in Nigeria week in week out, in local yeah. leagues, because yeah. we just have the talent. They process the talent abroad, just like the way they do oil. Yeah, we don't refine yeah. our oil. So our own talent is not being refined here anymore, whether you like it mm-hmm. or not. You know. Yeah. And that's the sad situation. Where my raised a very important point, but now the problem in Nigeria is who will build the cats, who will raise up these institutions again, and raising up these institutions will mean that we have to go to the foundation of where this country has been structured and has been built. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now redo everything again because it's insane. I don't K pop when you listen to BTS, no matter what, yeah. they go back home and they perform, right? Yeah, it is yeah. an African business that bro. I can count how many people have seen Ashake live. Ashake has had the madness of a year, two years. How many have oh, seen Ashake live because you can't afford him, man? Like, that is the problem, yeah, you know, and that is why the likes of them two phase P square are still big because almost um, they perform the length and breadth of this country. Yeah, they, Afro is not the they went around. I don't know if you see them because these are people that we feel. But these new mm-hmm. guys are coming out, they can't tour everywhere or they can't even perform everywhere because 
Yankees calling them with dollars. And the way our economy is set up, one one nine twenty to a nine twenty naira to a dollar. That means if I make hundred yeah. k, bro, if I come back to Nigeria, I feel slapped the government. Good. Yeah, so why should they come back? The reason that coming back in December is going to be like, oh, let's do that bulk thing. We we'll perform like ten mm. or fifteen shows, which are even yeah. doubts now. Nobody's going to give you ten or fifteen shows now. We we'll mm. do like three That's or four or five. Much. Yeah, part yeah. more money. Then you enjoy because nothing really is happening abroad, you know. The Maria mm-hmm. has taken mm-hmm. over. The Maria Kali have taken over that country. So at least I say good again till January. <laughs> so come back, oppress us, knock on everybody's girlfriend, smoke all the Igbo that they used to smoke. But generally again, oh my word. <laughs> so that's why we're in Afrobeats now. We have not turned the spectators to what we created. Yeah. Because we mm-hmm. cannot financially, you know, meet up to the realities of what it is to have a modern industry. Mm-hmm. What is global demand for? Simple as that. I agree. Yeah, so we are here. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that we're talking about this because, like, during the course of the week, I had spoken about it with one or two people. Yeah. Shout out to landlady of Lagos. You know, she was really, you know, she wasn't having it. She's just like, yo, why, why is it that you know the headies isn't happening in Nigeria? You can't have it in Nigeria. Trust me, landlady. Yeah. Shout out to you. If it happens in Nigeria, <laughs> oh <my. laughs> My rats, my rats will come that event too. Do you think, get what I mean? She's think just... of all the major mm-hmm. winners. Rema is abroad, right? Asha yeah. Ken is abroad. But now, yeah. boy, he has even sworn he will never come for the edits. That's his own business. Mm. So yeah. imagine big names not being there. Almost, it would be a, it would be a shame to the edits. So it's, the truth is, is, but that's the reality of it. She, she was saying that sort of Nigerians have been robbed of the glitz and glam of the oh, event yes. away from the award yes. um, ceremony. It's, yes. it's also a thing where like Nigerians show up and show out, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I completely understood where she was coming from. I hadn't even spoken to you when I gave her a response. Like, because like from my own informed opinion, I was just saying to her like, at this point, we're not... Like nobody, as you rightly said, they are not here, right? No, no, we're not, nobody we're not the consumers. Is, we're not the consumers. Yeah, the nobody. No, like even the stars that we want to give the yeah. awards to, they, they are, not, are not here. They are not here. You know, everybody somehow is at in a very funny way right now. They say American visa. Say they know they get dates to go for the interview, but everybody's in the US, so they blow uh, my mind. No, too. even no prosperity now. You know now. You know, <laughs> Do you get what I mean? So, but like if like moving from that to Afro Nation, which was what I was going to talk to you about, like which was going to be the next thing I was going to talk about, and then you just like amazingly started talking about it. Um when I opened my email, because I get I get an email from Afro Nation, I think I don't know when I subscribed, it's been a while anyway. Mm-hmm. And I opened my email and I saw the Afro Nation tickets and I saw two ninety nine dollars. Um, I just said to myself, um, this is evidently not for me, right? Because m- maybe from a sales perspective, as a salesperson, I'd already sort of, you know, now you speak about the industry, yeah. but like based off of sales as a person, I, 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 once I looked at it, first of all, price is a, is a great, um, defining is a great definer in a sense. Yeah. So if I bring out a product and I say this product is five naira, I already know who my target market is, yeah, and so five naira is going to. I know the amount of people that are going to. You know, in fact, I probably don't even know because it might be mind blowing, right? I know the amount of people that can afford five naira in Nigeria, but when I bring something out and I say yo is two ninety nine dollars. First of all, I, I went on social media and I started to see like somebody wrote like a whole thing about how how can we be pressing in dollars in Nigeria. Let us be very yeah. honest. <laughs> we are a consuming country. I'm not gonna lie you. Most of my jobs Do now, my, my dollars are the charge. I'm very sorry. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? About. Yeah. It is verbally that we say dollar is not legal tender in Nigeria, but unfortunately, everything that we do, do you understand? Everything we do, even the, the price of fuel, is determined by the dollar. Yes. So, like, it, I think it's a little bit um, tone deaf for us to say, or, you know, bereft, really, that we say, oh, why are things being priced in dollars? Be very serious. Everything is priced in dollars in you Nigeria. Play. You and play. You play. It's not easy now. Do you understand? Are we playing? I'm not playing now. <laughs> you know, like, if... If as a business person you import something from China at the rate of 
200 dollars 200 to a dollar let us see of course we know that's not what it is shout out to the yes that is yeah. but like if that's what it is it is and then fast forward to today you've not sold it and now the dollar is going for a nine for 900 to one dollar do you get what i mean like how is your business supposed to run when we know that we import everything, you guys, I don't understand. I don't think we understand how much. You know, every time we say we import toothpick, you guys, we import button, mm-hmm. buttons to sew clothes. We import it. We import the t-shirts that are used to to make the merch that people wear. Everything in this country is imported based off of the dollar. We don't say join brick Nigeria no agree join. Okay. And so, because of that, we trade in the USD. And I, I get why Nigerians are mad, you know, at what is going on. But they I feel that all they parties... They can't be mad now. They can't be All parties have to work together to bring some sort of balance to the system. Plus the artists, plus the promoters, oh, yeah, plus the government. There are some artists who are dickheads, who don't even give a fuck. Do you right? get what I mean? They don't care as many Because... Because sorry, let me yeah. you, because you charge according yeah. to the market where you are going to. Mm-hmm. So if yeah. an artist right, the fee, your booking fee for a wedding should be different from your booking mm-hmm. fee that you are taking to a university. You are going to collect from yeah. the university. That's what to be different because mm-hmm. you are looking at mm-hmm. the purchasing power of those people there, right? Yes. Now when you hear that, oh, Nigeria or oh, somebody from Nigeria says, oh, come and perform, you cannot be giving uh, the kind of price that Afro Nation is paying you abroad here yeah. right now because you know that the market is different. But some people yeah. don't give a fuck right now. So that's what we're, that's exactly. what we're in right now. Like I said, there's an, artist, there's an artist who turned 300k down. And that's flight in, flight out. Too, plus flights again. And to bring your what band, to bring everything. Obviously, people already know what I'm talking about when I say band. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And that's why you will not, you, know? you might not see me in years to come and perform in Nigeria. Yeah. Secondly, where is the venue that you even taking? Right? Exactly. I have a feeling that this TBS that we're talking about, I have a feeling that this TBS we're even talking about, the reason why the price is like this is because of security risk again. Let's not mm-hmm. joke ourselves. Uh, TBS is not the safest place, blood. Yep. Legal yeah. yeah um, so it's just so like if, Sorry, I don't think the only thing, if, we, have, the only thing we have right now yeah. that we can hold that's our own that has not yet flown abroad yet. It's still Nollywood. The day Nollywood flies ab- abroad, we are finished in this country. That's it go really, it go loud. It go loud. But that's where we are as a people right now. Um, it's also, we also have to point accusing fingers to the government because there has, mm-hmm. not, there has not been any conscious effort to boost Afro. To invest. Okay, you guys, yep. didn't, you guys didn't invest in it. So this thing happened on its own. Young, mm-hmm. and young women just came together, hustled. Got Afro out of work. pockets really mm-hmm. for these people. That first alone is even soft power for Nigeria. Exactly. Okay. That's a level of influence that we can start using and entering other countries. But no. Exactly. Like, but when you, you now give them one fake award at the end, you say they are giving them national honor. Is it national honor we are talking about? What about the money to make you fly? You know, yeah. you just you, you just mentioned something like the some the government, right? Yeah. But also, Afro Nation is a privately owned thing by nigerians it's it's very so it out is, of is where some part of afro nation has been sold to like international investors Mara. but this one yes are like for the for for the main guys who were the founders of the business yeah right exactly now for a lot of people who don't know to be fair to them the first mm-hmm. nation they wanted to do in africa was in badagri mm-hmm. lagos was in badagri mm-hmm. lagos they looked at mm-hmm. agri no roads no infrastructure the hotels, nothing can, hotels cannot accommodate 30,000, 40,000 people. This Afro Nation is even coming to Lagos is going to be a problem because if half of the amount of people that go to Afro Nation normally come to Lagos, um, mm-hmm. f- do everything about Uber and uh, in drive and that, you will be able children. to accommodate Ho- hotels will be sold out and shot. My mm-hmm. guy, Airbnb is forget it, done exactly. And if you know, and that even shows the physical infrastructure we have. In a place can't like hold Lagos. water. We can't hold water. We can't. That's you? when they say Nigeria should host like World Cup. I'm like, do you think you think World Cup is a principal cup? Do you know what it means? It. Your transportation has to be flawless. It's our sports. Transportation system has to be flawless. 
how mm-hmm. that amount of people will get to TBS without any chaos is going to be a miracle. Mm-hmm. I know miracle. involved the Lagos state government, they'll get all the security apparatus, but um, yeah, the landlords of Lagos show up, even police go run. We've seen that before. <laughs> so please, oh, my guys, if you are listening to this abroad, my people, if you want to come to Lagos, come, oh, come and enjoy. But I can tell you something, Seth. Afro Nation will not be the hottest party in Lagos by December. I can bet mm-hmm. you. You know, as boys, they obviously, see, no, no, like one street carnival, you go shock you waiting, they go down. It was a shock, you see, up to 2,000 people on one, in one street just parting their heads off, man. They don't give a fuck what's happening. I feel yeah. like normally the clubs will pop, the lounges, oh, will the pop. clubs will pop, lounges will pop, yeah, yeah. yeah I think crazy. that. I want what I've been trying to gear at with this pricing of Affirmation AOT yes. two. Yes. Before before I lose my train of thought and lose my mind. Yeah. Is that when people place place a price on something, they place on that price on the thing because of what they the the cost that they are going to incur or they are already yeah. incurring That's because of Definitely. it, right? There's that part. There's also the part that may, maybe also they don't just want all and sundry to be there. Secondly, that's another important point. Lagos, Do you understand? Sorry, because Lagos. Sorry, just to Lagos is the home of miscreants. Mm-hmm. And they've refused, do you get what I mean? The government has refused to do anything about it. And now you people will not see the price you people pay for all exactly. the people that you see roaming on the streets. Because you cannot bring mm-hmm. the amount of money into Lagos. And the people who have not eaten will not be sitting there and be looking. Um, Precisely. It will be a madness farm. Do you get what I mean? And because they know that they don't want all and sundry to come in, if you ask me, this is also sort of a market testing. So what is obtainable here in Nigeria? Because if they do it this time around and they see the potential for, especially as regards their pricing, it's something where they can go back to their drawing board to say, okay, you guys, what can we do better? How can we make this better? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Um, based off of that, they can do that. So it's some sort of market analysis. Yeah. But what again I really want Nigerians to understand is that when you think about the value of a thing, sometimes it's not about the money attached to it. Let me put it this way. You know, in Nigeria, any small thing, if it don't cost, they say it's a luxurious item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luxury is not the price of a good. Luxury is the experience yeah. you get from the from the product. Definitely. And right? So, mm-hmm. Yeah, and speaking of like, you know, concerts and everything, you don't want to see the price. Yeah. You don't want to see the, what Beyonce is charging abroad. People are selling, people are empty their bank accounts, man. So go see, to Beyonce is even far because now, you, I mean, it's BB. Do you get what I mean? She's big like that. But people even pay that premium because they understand the experience they are going to go and get yes. from it. If the experience matches, you get what I mean? if the experience matches the price, then I have no problem with affirmation. Then why not? Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. get what I mean? So that's what I'm saying because in the breakdown of the prices, they gave, they said what they, what they will be giving based off of yeah. the breakdown, right? So this, is not a, um, uh, this is not a quote that they'll tell you to come and stay VIP and it's changing they'll be giving you. And uh, Do you get what I mean? Water, water. They sort of they sort of laid it out to say, okay, oh, if you pay, if you pay, um, if you pay two ninety nine, you have uninitiated access to the front of the stage, be within arm's reach of the artist, um, access to festival VIP area, VIP bars with faster service, priority yeah, yeah, yeah. festival entry, an item of exclusive affirmation merch, whatever it is, right? They've given you the breakdown that for this reason, this is why we have given you this price. If you feel like it's not good for you, mm-hmm. it's not a thing where you now start to bash them to say to say bring down your price, bring down your price. Now no, it's, now just what? a bad about that thing, and we have to say that it's the way they treat. Do you get what I mean? Like the way they treat DSTV, You're telling DSTV to bring their price. DSTV is not NTA, my guy. It is not your father's property. See? If you, you get afford NT, buy antenna, the one that you'll be rolling around with the remote and watch you go and check it. Watch your terrestrial TV, JJ. You know, what I'm saying you what is Nigerian government even doing? These South Africans are cheating us. <laughs> the South Africans improve their own industry, improve your own industry. Simple as Period. that. Simple do as you that. get what I mean? Smith cannot come and do something in Nigeria out of pocket, and yes. then you expect that he would. No, no, he loves the country. Do you understand? He's, He's a business. Man. Bless your heart. 
he's trying to make his money back and also make a profit there's a reason he went into business not because he's trying to and he has already checked himself that almost this thing where they do no before all and sundry is mm-hmm. for a, a select few yeah right as much as it's painful because it's afro nation it's just the reality of the thing yeah. right yeah in my opinion, what I would have imagined that Nigerians would be that I've been looking to is like, oh, it would be nice so to give us regular tickets because all the all the tickets are VIP tickets. So if okay. you say yeah, that, give that, us that, VIP, that regular go ahead. Though. Do you understand? Like that's what I'm saying. As opposed to saying, oh, bring down your prices. Do, as I as I said before. Yeah, do regular. You know, maybe for like fifty. K. Yeah. Yeah. You know, whatever it is, put it fifty k, eighty k, something that some that is that from now people can start gathering their coins till December because this yeah. is what we're talking about. It's still far far yeah, December. So it's actually good that they announced the price. So now you go, now you go. Now how you want? Uh-huh. But uh, precisely, if you know you can't afford it, please uh, Milan Block Party Festival, January first, twenty twenty four. That one, I love it. That one, nothing, nothing. Anyhow, now what one? We have to be. <laughs> A madness found. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. But that's the situation we you know, are in right now. Um, it, I don't let me finish this point. Okay. I want to finish. That's how we'll fight. Naka, naka. And then people will not say that me, I don't allow you to speak. Oh, but sorry, you understand? Finish. Okay. Finish so basically, what I'm tr- the the point is if it is a luxurious thing for us as Nigerians, luxury is also aspirational. It means that you can put your coins together and aspire to it because you see the value in it. If you don't see the value in it, then there's no need to beat yourself up about it. Do you get what I mean? But if you see the value in it, my dear, you will still count your coins and go. And then on the part of Afro nation, they can go back maybe after this whole thing and say, yo, okay, because of X, Y, Z, why was this thing a success or not a success? And from there, they can start to arrange them their steps. But right now, to fight the battle to say, oh, hey, the money is so much, hey, you do not think about Nigerians. At the end of the day, you go still reach that day, Nigerians go see plenty for day. You whether you came from abroad, you whether you... you do you understand? You go see electric shock. You go mount. You go dead there. See, do you understand? People go see day. Now I say because generally you are say people they really go through them, but there are people who legit keep money aside for December enjoyment. Yeah, true, yeah. And if they say, do you understand? If they say that if those people decide that okay, this is a steep amount, but like if I'm getting this, and because of the kind of access I want to get. I'm going to pay X, Y, Z amount of money. I don't see like the harm in it, right? Yes. I mean, I understand that we're not being treated fairly. We made Ashake. We knew, we know all his songs. We know everything he can do. But like, it's I say me in my opinion. I say this: what's happening in Afrobeats right now is the clear case of he who play, pays the piper, right? Um, uh, go to where the dollars is, man. My nigga. 100%. So, like, is it that you get with the script or like you leave it at this yeah. point? Do let's not be fighting too many battles. We fight our government, we fight yeah. everything. Now, nah, person still say we won't give us if they want to do something for December enjoyment, we they fight them. See, the stress is too much. See, you go, 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 go to, like go to amusement park and enjoy yourself. Go and lick ice cream. Do you get water, yeah. water, what they call that thing? Water parks. I'll go to Frankie. Is this still open? How can water parks still be open? I doubt it. Let me check that place one day. I doubt it's still open. The man died if it's possible. Ago. But like, why won't people? Why is like there is that Nigerians don't see? There's really nothing for children anymore. Oh, well, I know LTV does something. LTV has like a water parks December long events for children. I know that one is still. There. Yeah, I, I yeah. You know how much the money they'll make from it. Come on. Fair. Speaking about this really affirmation, for children. Just to run down, mm-hmm. I think that location yeah. they want to use is actually very dope. TBS mm-hmm, can mm-hmm. take 40, 50. We've seen with the experience. My concern is how do people get in and out? Those roads are not the widest if you know TBS very well. Yeah. I think also, because where TBS is is a very historical place. That was where yeah. the British flag was lowered for the last time and the Nigerian flag was raised mm. for the first time. It was even called yes, Coast back then. It was not even called Tibet. It was called yes. Coast. Yeah. I don't know if they have to restructure the, the surroundings of that place. Because you see some houses that are over 100 years old there. Yeah. I don't know how they need to do but they need to clear that place properly. Because there are places that look like ghetto. A ghetto should not be yeah. like those kind of places at all. <laughs> Please don't kill me. You have to refurbish those places and not make them like museums. Okay, if you want to see the old Lagos, you know, this is yeah. where you can go to. I think that's key. 
Secondly, mm -hmm. I know they refurbished the National Theatre. I think the National Theatre should yeah. be able to hold indoor concerts of at least 4,000 people. I don't know the capacity. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong. But if I just pass the National Theatre every day and nothing's happening there, then it's just going to rot again. It's time to open it so, up to people. So, you know, like, that Lagos Island Road, you know, there are some places that are, like, one way and stuff. I think yeah. as the regards, like, movement in and out of the place, they probably just need to organize better. Yeah. Um, but I think it's doable. Yeah, to get, like, is actually for that place. Because that's where, yeah. like, the, the main uh, BRT bus park is. So, if they can even make, like, exactly. information and BRT buses to take people in and yeah. out, it will actually be smoother than... Because you can't expect everybody to bring their car or Uber. It's going to be exactly to shut down open and it's going to a be madness. I hold up, hold up, build. You know, Lagos. It's when hold up builds in one place, everywhere is locked. For whether mainland exactly. or island. Yeah. So, Afro Nation, with all this, our uh, talk talk, please just give us tickets. They one and day two. Thank you yes, very much. Sir. And I want VIP. I have to be seen, but I don't be close to Bonner Boy. May not use him boot kick. <laughs> please uh, don't kill me. If you, make you no mistakenly. Make you no go mistakenly match our way. If, if you kick me, I go first get epilepsy. You go pay. <laughs> yeah. and physical damages. That's I like love it. Emotional. I love it. Destroyed. Yeah, so I don't think any need to force talk about Big Brother anymore because we've already. This is. Oh, I think we should, Sha, because okay. I think something happened. So, Big Brother Niger, what's the update? What's happening? A lot of people have been evicted. You know, a lot of a lot of things has happened. Different oh, yeah. age break, age. Break it down for us, correspondent. Thank you. <laughs> Um, there's been a lot of, of course, the pirates giving out some, give, giving a private gist of people, you know, to the general house, um, Ulebaye and CC, CC and Pere, CC and, you know, there's been a lot of fights in the house in the past couple of weeks, but yeah. most, say? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Okay, hey. Yeah, but like, I, I do I want to, I'm, I mean, if we can go step by step with all of them, but it's going to be really time consuming and because, like, a lot of it has already elapsed and, like, yeah, people have moved give on. Like a summary. Exactly. So, um, uh, I mean, the parrot had said that Ilebai, um, no, Doi had said a couple of things about some people in the house. Um, I don't want to, like, go, okay, well, the most notable one was that they said that, um, so there's this triangle happening between cross um kim kimopra and perry right so mm -hmm. when kimopra yep. came into the house apparently um perry was trying to make some move to her uh but i mean I, I think sort of cross has sort of taken over the mantle of that ship and yeah. you know so there was just among some of the housemates saying that oh perry was a weakling which then forced perry to weep on social media well not social wow. media but weep in the house and it's been such a thing on social because like i mean apparently a lot of people really apparently support perry and stuff but anyway he was crying felt bad about it messi ak got into a fight with someone in the house um she lost her temper at biggie um uh, what else am what notable of course cc has been in different bouts of anger with different people in the house surprise, angel surprise. <laughs> angel and neo got into a clash um Ilebai, no not Ilebai, doing and your best your best babe also got into a fight um, who's my best babe sorry are, are you forgotten so quickly venita <laughs> no, Kimo press my babe. Sorry, I moved on. Ah, sorry, that's true. Ah, my god, light skin people. This, can you see? I now? forgot. I see. forgot. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, yeah, there, there's just been a lot of fights here and there in the house, but most notably the one that happened recently. Um, Oh, yeah, there was also a time during the games where White Money said he wanted to voluntarily exit the Big Brother house. Yeah, no um, see? <laughs> see so no 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 way. He really wanted to do it because you know, he was really, like, fed up. There's so much been, so much has been happening in the house and, you know, just trying to get the wind of it. Wind of it. Anyway, um, the one that is most pressing right now was is about Perry and Doi. So Perry got mad about what was said in the house about him being a weakling and stuff. 
um and got like and got into like a heated argument with doing and doing was standing her ground saying like yeah i said what i said but like i didn't say it all by myself but why are you no i think he said something about somebody and doing mm-hmm. like sort of pointed it out to him that yo but like why are you saying you didn't say it i'm trying to put it all on me when we all like you said it and then Perry lost his anger and punched a hole into big brother's wall into big mm-hmm. brother's mm-hmm. wall yeah because he had already told uh i think venita also previously that he was going to slap doing it that day oh. and so just going there and like causing all that ruckus and everything and he punched the hole in the wall and you know got really everybody was holding him back you know as Perry they been like para day but did real time did you get so he was all of that and everyone on social media is talking about how Perry lost his anger and of course some people are like oh Oh, Perry is within his rights. Perry is okay to have lost his anger. Um, but like in my lost his temper, sorry. But in my opinion, I don't think anger is a bad emotion. Anybody who knows me knows that I really honestly support anger, right? Um, I think that it is in the expression of the anger that there might be an issue, right? So he started calling her name, called her a bitch. Um, and some of some of that foul stuff that you know naturally shouldn't have gotten to that point but i do understand also for maybe in and maybe not in his defense he was probably not having it especially with kind of week he has had with yeah. being called a weakling and all of that it was probably he needed some way to let out his anger and being that in the in recent time all the gist that has happened in big brother house doing has been at the middle or involved in all of it it was just sort of safe to sort of sort of take out that anger on her. Yeah. But everybody's like, yo, you're a gentleman. Up oh, well, social media comment commentators comment I did think about I said you right, I'll be commentators. Yeah, commentators. I just like yo, you you can get mad without punching a hole in the wall or like trying to hit a person. Like, what were you trying to get at trying to do that to a petite babe like that, you know? away from that like if you were if it were a guy that you were talking to would you would you have also lost your temper in that sort of way right yeah. you'd have still respected him regardless but now that it's the tiny tiny doing you you're trying to raise hellfire and brimstone on her um there's also this little squabble with angel and neo in the house um i can't say for sure what happened in that aspect aspect because like i i haven't really been following big brother so much but like he was anyway you know soma and angel are in sort of a shape right now and so yeah. he just swooped in and saved the day for her literally like he protected her from the foul anger and fine, mood fine boy, of yeah. new you know, I really struggle when invite. See, and this is not me saying that Nero is not fine. Oh, do you get? Look like at your warming up to the idea. I'm fine. There's no problem. No, no, no. It's not like I mean, you know, beauty is what you know. Everybody get their own thing with the look, right? They, sorry, they say it smells sorry, nice. Sorry, sorry. Segway. Tom Ford Black Orchid is a hundred key. Is it? Is it dollars? No, naira. I'm just oh. <laughs> Is, is, it, is that too bad? Ah, okay. Please why, you, yes. why are you even seeing that price myself? I'm not even sure. That I'm, I was like surprised. I don't know. Yeah, because I'm not. Well, it depends, Sha. Anyway, all of that has been going on in Biggie's house. There's been a lot of fights. There's been a lot of emotions. Everybody has lost. See, I can go up on and on about all the fights, but like I don't want to also tarry because. It's been a minute, so it's not like we're giving yeah. real time gist anymore. And like we've sort of moved, like everybody has sort of moved past all of these things. But biggest thing that happened in Big Brother House for me to date this week, mm-hmm. she is out of the house, big ladies oh, and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what like yeah. I danced like David danced when oh, I wow. heard that oh, she wow. has left the house. It's just oh, like a wow. big. Go back to the corner of the world where you sneaked out from because I don't mm. want to hear your opinion. Please, evicted, can you? They evicted three of them as one go, right? Yeah, they evicted oh. well two fake. They, I think four of them actually two fake wow. housemates, Prince and Lucy, left at, on the same day. Um, 
Ike as well was ev- evicted that same day. Shocking. Ike left, yeah, shocking. Yeah, Ike left that day. But like the icing on the cake and the way they just even left it for the final you straw. Eh? You trust a Wukana. Hey, the 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 jubilation no be here. I yeah, well. the, I see you see the breakdowns why I give them. <laughs> it will really shock you. Okay. As in, no, no, it was great. Um, I'm happy that happened. Um, I feel that there's so much, like so much has happened in Biggie's house anyway. But we're still watching. Uh, I don't know if yeah, I don't know if this is the right time to say like, I who do you think is going to win? I know that you, I don't know. I'm open uh, to the fact that you might I, not have. I, I, I don't, know. I don't know anybody yet. Though. Exactly, exactly. Um, I feel same as well. I don't really have anybody in mind that I feel would like i'm rooting for in that sense if they, nobody has really pulled their weight in terms of character a lot of the people from the previous seasons that had been more prominent as as personalities are just like really quiet i would say my mind first face alex i don't feel like alex has really done anything that has yeah she has been very underwhelming yeah in this time the, no there's no opinion there's no fights there's just like warm water look warm water um who else there are some people that are just like really hiding that they're, they're no person you can't attach any personalities to them and so because of that it's just like not a level playing field for me the same people have been in the media for like recycled for a couple of weeks now and it's becoming boring to me personally yeah. uh if not cc is labor if not you believe by he's doing if he's not doing this person is aj like why like Nothing is really popping up in the house personally, so yeah. it's so underwhelming for me on that part. So, yeah, okay. big brother updates. We don't have big brother <laughs> updates now to our twin flop and props of the week. Where do we start? Love let's start it. on the bad news first. Um, uh, the okay. bad news, let's start with bad news first. Let me just click this <laughs> link, let it pop up. Um, yes, uh, wait, oh. hold on, sorry, we are, we are using Nigerian internet. Okay, so this is coming from my alma mater. Um, Unilag re- lecturer arrested for allegedly raping a 20-year-old female student in his office. What a um, big... His name is Kadiri Akim, the Unilag lecturer. Uh, the victim accused doc- uh, Dr. Baola and associate professor of botany of perpetrating the crime when she visited his office to sort out issues pertaining to results. The victim who, who reported the case to an NGO, the, the Inclusive Social Welfare and Empowerment Foundation, Good. Said that Babala raped her on Wednesday, August 16, 2023. Inclusive SWEF reported the case to the general unit of the state police command and through the OC gender and through the OC gender, the state CP, the WU, issued a warrant of arrest for Babala through the state high court and involved the vice chancellor of Unilag. But wow, that's fast mm-hmm. response. The yep. VC was given seven days to police Babala and when the VC invited the Randy lecture. Sorry, why did they have to put the Randy lecture? Because right? he is now. For, <laughs> Questioning the AGO said he admitted to committing the crime. Wow. The VC uh, informed the wow. police through the chief security officer of the school and Babala was arrested. Confirmed the incident. The commander, the command spokesperson, SB Benjamin Hudeni, said he's to appear in court in the coming days. Waiting the fight for court again. Now. You don't admit that. You don't understand. You don't admit already. But I mean, please. you just can't charge somebody like that. Shall okay, please don't let, be, don't, let be, don't let it be a 12 hour charge. Just don't. Two minutes, I beg. Yeah, but this is good. Uh, I. It's good that we are we are removing the, the Randy lecturers <laughs> that stay in the ivory towers amongst us because anybody yeah. who has been to a, a a publicly owned university knows that um, almost yeah. the death the death trap for young women, especially exactly. when it comes to like exams, mm-hmm. uh, assignments, mm-hmm. the projects. That is where they can really lay their hands on you. Scores. I have to even shout out to that BBC documentary because I think he shed a light and it now made it normal to not out this More men. prominent, yes. So shout out to, you know, the NGO that held. Shout out to Unilag for the fast response because some universities want to sweep this under the carpet. And yeah. uh, this was really fast. As for Mr. Rapist, don't drop the soap. Please don't kill Kiri, me. Kiri Kiri is a bitch, my nigga. Yeah. Love it. Kiri Kiri is very, very, very friendly with, uh, as, uh, you know, with the... Uh, Brand new meat, so you know um, what to do. 
Did you see that video of the prisoners in the cell? That I'm was that was terrible, man. On social I'm that shit was terrible, shit. man. Fuck, man. That's Please, so I, beg I beg you more, God. Maybe anybody knows that I will go make you enter prison. I beg you. Do you understand? Because how's that healthy? Self, even jail self is bad. Do you get? Mm-hmm. But also, I hear that, you know, like, speaking about your university, your alma mater, right? I heard yeah. that you guys were um, trying to hold a riot. A protest. a protest. We don't riot. A protest. protest. Sorry. Sorry. Apologies. First church doesn't riot. We protest. I beg you, you rest. Said in French, <laughs> we protest. Yes. God, I beg. Yeah, there's a video of a lady who went viral where she was complaining that from 20K to, like, 250K. Yeah, like, even she's doing wrong, and that is the part that really hits me. She said, Even if I'm doing wrongs, if I'm being hook up, how oh, do you I don't to do it? Do you get ah. I'm not saying they should not increase, but you can't increase and say everybody. I think there should be a four year gap or four year notice so that the people who are coming as freshers already know that almost by 2028, oh, this unit like school fees would have changed then. So you are not the ones who are in the system to pass with the current school fees. That's what they should have done. I think I think a proper protest for me will not even be to hit the street anymore. What is it? Everybody just sit at home. <laughs> and but they be sitting at home now. Is that soon now? Eh, see, well, the truth is that because the government, the kind of government that we <laughs> we are currently living through, it's not government. They this don't really what, care. This is what Asu should be fighting, but Asu will not be doing. Asu is very funny. Asu will be joining endless NL Labour Congress to be fighting. Is that the issue we are talking about here? And uh, make, that's the one that is see, NLC that doesn't that have his own is involved. And the NLC that doesn't have his bearing, they are saying that they are doing, doing warning strike. What, what are they mm. warning for? They are not doing two day warning strike. Oh. Did you did you feel the bank strike or did it, did the bank strike happen? Now people where they use bank, me where they go POS. We think concern me with bank. Well, I, 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 I don't know if the bank strike I, happened, but like the app, the, the app they work, the app where they work on the normal day now. So what do you think what, yeah, what's most annoying for me is that so students decide that they want to protest something and then you bring the police it's normal, to come man. and it's normal that's what happened them. in our own time when they brought out tear gas to now it's normal we just start that behavior it's a regular but, trademark like but it makes no sense but asari dokubo can hold a protest in in abuja and walk free and nobody's going to say anything can so those, can this those, nigeria obviously sorry. is not for everybody those people that are protesting for in uni, like, can they go to Ashura and go and shake the president and take picture with him? No. So, is that what Nigeria is now about? Because me. let me tell sister, you what sister sister what, in the Lord. Sister go in the Lord. What is the first no. rule of what's the first rule of Animal Farm? Just tell me. I know you read the book. You went see, to a very good school. Your parents I, took you to a very good school. See, not see, not fair, not, I want not, to say. <laughs> what so did you please, say? I said your parents took you to a very good school, not a well not that primary school. Before so law in animal farm. See, let me tell you first. I want to say something before yeah. I take before the first one. I want to say Nigeria. something. Yeah, like in Nigeria, that's the problem. <laughs> they say so. I, is it is it the one about whatever goes on on two legs is no, the enemy? The, the very first one. Oh, all all animals. All animals are is it is it equal and or not All equal? All animals are equal, but some are more equal. Some are more equal than Thank others. Thank you. Yes. yes. Okay. I used to honestly think it was the one that whatever goes up on two legs is an enemy. <laughs> Well, okay, no, no, yeah. Two legs bad, four legs good, or some shit like that. No, yeah, do you get what I mean? No, I know the bad. Waiting, they really make me diverse, really, in this country. Is that the truth is that right now, we're saying like these, these things look like uh, it's normal. But what happens when the when the rule of law is not upheld is that there is it trickles down to the the bottom as and becomes disruptive. So we might not see it right now, but give it a couple more months to come. If something is not done that sort of holds people together, there will be a lot of chaos. If the Nigerian well, government is not, you just uh, like, Nigerian government is not mindful. Yeah, give Which quality? Not with the one way. Twenty twenty, the video still they, where would they, the people, just, people are tearing, tearing the roof of of of. They are they are keeping the the palliative in one place, making the rot. Why people they streets they hungry? God damn. Doesn't God. make any sense. I beg. Mm. I don't know. We see at some point in on two three four, we're going to get some like a lawyer or somebody on here to have a conversation with us about what's going on in Nigeria. Please not charge um, me. And, and the rule God. of law. Say that again. Please not charge and be normal lawyer. Oh no, no, like hey, papa. 
Please don't kill me. But yeah. All right. Okay. Pop, pop, pop. Now, prop of the week. Two school girls. I have to mention their name because their names are not in this tweet and it will be a disservice to them. Two students of uh-huh. Wesley Girls Senior Secondary School in Yaba, Lagos State have won the Stockholm Junior Water Prize in Nigeria. Love um, it. So what they did was that they invented a water purifying device which turns contaminated mm. water into safe drinking water. They won the Stockholm Junior I Water Prize it. in Nigeria for the innovation which has gained global attention. Now, uh-huh. just in the spirit to document their names, um, Elizabeth Buluatife and Abu Salam Ajara won uh-huh. the award for inventing this purifying device. So shout out to them. Two wonderful Love ladies it. doing their thing. Hopefully, they take this invention abroad internationally. And maybe Nigerian government will put the funds in it so that it can be widespread. And they'll be putting funds in buying a Jeep and then uh, giving, yeah. giving two I million naira to our senators who obviously don't have anything to do with that time. I love it. So, shout out to those two ladies, man. Two young scientists, you know, inventors doing, it, doing Nigeria proud. As always, Nigerians yeah. are premium people. I always say that, like, we're definitely premium. You know, don't don't let anybody treat you different. Yeah. We're good. We're good for it. And with that, we've come to the end of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a blast. I'm sad. Please, what is the yes. time? Yes. Nana will not disturb our life. That is the name. Yes. Ha, God, I beg. What's going to be the title of this episode? Now, what does this sound like? Metro. That's what we call, we call it, Metro. Metro Blast. A metro Blast. No, don't say Metro Love Blast. It. What they now say, we are saying the Metro will blast, too. I beg you. Uh, it will be, it will be click through. It will be, well, people will want to click it because they're Metro uh, Blast. Metro Blast. Uh, metro Blast. Love it. <laughs> All right, guys. If you have any questions, fan mail or release therapy, where you have any Feedback. Concept. Um, concerning your relationship, you know, please send a family at family at 234essential.com. You know, and follow us mm-hmm. on all social media. I never say something. Oh, no, yeah. I want to say that. Follow yes. us on all social media. Follow platforms. us on every social media platform at 234 Essential Podcast. Yeah, Thank and subscribe, you guys. subscribe to our newsletter and we'll yes. get back to you guys. Thank you. Let us know what's happening. Stay kind, people. Be kind because everyone is struggling about with something you know nothing about. So be kind. All right, we're done. Peace.